roads open in St. Bernard Parish this morning. There are still some areas of concern with visibility still pretty tough at certain intersections and still just a lot of debris everywhere. This is more and more neighbors getting that up close look at the damage coming back home, figuring out what needs to be done to pick up the pieces. WDSU's Deja Brown joins us live in Araby this morning with a collaborative team effort to try to start moving this area forward on the road to recovery. Deja, good morning. Chad, Brandy, good morning and good morning to you at home. We know just how important traffic is and how much it can impact your day. So we've been here at the intersection of Friscoville Avenue and St. Bernard Highway. Traffic starting to pick up, starting to get a little bit of light out here, but this is one of four major intersections that sustained damage due to Tuesday's tornado. Now, like I mentioned to you before, traffic only getting by right now because of that temporary stop sign that you see power pole right here actually leaning on a traffic signal or what used to be a traffic signal. People starting to pick up here, but the main thing we want to stress, of course, is the importance of staying safe. Now, I did get a chance to speak with Louisiana DOTD Secretary Dr. Sean Wilson. He actually toured the tornado impacted area on Tuesday with Governor John Bell Edwards, and he says right now they're waiting for energy energy, excuse me, to deem the affected area safe to enter. Then it'll be all hands on deck to begin reconstituting the normal aspect of light. Things like traffic signals, signs are important, but he, say tra he says transportation is way more important than just roads and bridges and physical components that they can actually build. It's what they build, more importantly, a connection for this community. We're looking at a number of homes here that are just totally devastated in this community. Uh, fortunately, you know, we've been blessed to only have one fatality, but these lives in this community are changed forever. Uh, new homes, established neighborhoods have been destroyed. And guys, Dr. Wilson tells me it's very important while they're doing the work out here, they want you to do the work wherever you can. And the easiest way is for you to go ahead and self report some of the damages that you've assessed. But we've been out here for the past few hours. Like I mentioned, traffic starting to pick up. We actually saw a pedestrian crossing the road here. So dark, a car almost didn't see him. It can be very dangerous out here. So again, if you're making your way into Old Airby at this intersection, Friscoville Avenue, St. Bernard Highway, Use some caution on the approach, but crews are going to be working to clear some of this debris, down stop signs, all the things that are going to be impacting your normal and daily commute. But hopefully that road to recovery is going to start fairly soon. Sending it back to you guys in the studio. All right, Deja, thank you very much. Of course, everyone.